let's see what's coming your way and we do have the queen of cups and we do have the seven of wands if you are dealing with a water sign pisces cancer scorpio somebody here wants to unblock you um you know it's like they needed time they needed space and guess what ace of swords the same queen of cups ace of swords they want to talk to you i would expect communication of course ace of swords is written communication can also be because now they have clarity of the mind the new vision they want a new beginning the world they want happy endings right they want happy endings something to celebrate the world is thank god is over and look at the beauty in front of me right queen of cups well she follows us around it's a feminine energy can be a masculine and we do have the world in reverse so whatever unfinished business you have with this person they want their happy ending uh, they want to be at peace and now we know we need to stop we have the seven of uh, pentacles right uh, which is the energy of kind of impatience right they are quite impatient in communicating saying what's on their mind explaining the time that they've been um, in silent mode with the seven of uh, wands so we do have the six of swords peace of mind and happiness virgo is coming your way peace of mind and happiness for some of you might be a leo who walked away but i do love the energy of peace of mind and happiness maybe that's what was needed wanted and um and um a beautiful energy right a beautiful energy i kind of feel that uh you know the sun is a beautiful energy of, of awakening through uh some important truth that comes to mind comes to the eyes comes to your knowledge and and i feel that that is that too right an enlightening moment uh that allows us to have some peace of mind and detach so let's see so virgo past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual let's have the current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual and let's have the possible outcome for you the person you are dealing with and mutual bottom of the deck knight of swords blazing right the truth something will happen quick so let's see what this is because we absolutely need peace of mind and truth and the knight of swords is gemini libra or aquarius energy but i feel it's more the energy of the truth coming your, your way more than a person in itself but let's see so in the past four of swords in reverse and the moon it's interesting right because it's the same peace of mind uh, probably following an ending we had this peace of mind and the moon in reverse it's again a, a peaceful energy right the moon upright is all about fears is all about shadows it's all about the emotional side of us that is troubling in some way it's the um restlessness right we don't we don't know what um what is expecting us we are in the dark about stuff and so we imagine and we think and we trouble the mind with uh scenarios of some of some sort and yet it comes with the energy of peace of mind just like the first card out so i feel i'm picking up the energy of a virgo who is now um, in control of things right so this person of yours what do they have they have the six of wands in reverse this is what they brought to the table in the past in the recent past six of wands in reverse and the seven of wheels in this deck but it's the seven of pentacles and it's interesting right because it has the energy of somebody being ashamed for being impatient so however that impatience um expressed itself in this connection but they feel um ashamed by it it's not something that represents them um i don't know if it was a one shot type of behavior um where uh, you are afraid of them it's a strong energy here of being afraid of someone um you know tiptoeing and walking on eggshells over here and when it was over and that was a break or a breakup um i feel virgo that some um, peace came to you you know are you kidding me <laughs> because we used two decks right look at the energy between the two of you five of swords twice in reverse that's true kind of speaks of the level of conflict that was between the two of you <laughs> usually i say it was a fight and a half so this time it was a double fight right 
um, double in size kind of fight. But the beauty of it is that you wanted to find a solution, they wanted to find a solution, whatever was. You know, sometimes we, um, you know, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Well, that's how it feels, right? You wanted to express something, so you solve a problem. And uh, we got into like major conflict, double conflict, and they wanted the same, but then we engaged in a, in a dynamic. This is how it feels. They feel ashamed for, um, you know, um, giving in to that type of behavior and on on your side you feel at peace when it was over, right? Um, so what are we right now? We do have the four of wands and the five of pentacles. So this is the energy of rejection, uh, separation, um, breakup, and a breakup of a commitment, right? Four of wands of a marriage, uh, something we believed in, something we've, um, you know, really invested in and uh, planted some roots. But for now, it feels cold, right? They are no longer with us and the place is empty. Now this person of yours, they do have the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Swords in reverse, so we know what that means, right? They are healing, not very much in control of their emotions, um, emotionally drained by what's going on, and definitely wanting to mend a broken heart. Um, overwhelmed, that's the energy of, and the mind is overwhelmed, and um, you know, um, emotions are running um, high, wild, dry when it comes to this right this is i'm never going to talk to them again i don't love them anymore and so on and so forth and the mutual energies between the two of you we do have the queen of swords and the five of cups regrets guilt and coldness uh queen of swords is speaking the bare minimum and always the truth and always uh what needs to be said and then goodbye we've seen that we've done that so no thank you and might be two different energies, you know, but definitely they are regretful uh, because of the coldness, probably that is no communication or minimal. And um, you both feel the same, right? So let's see the possible outcome. We do have the Page of Cups and we do have the Eight of Swords. So apologies coming your way, but boy, they come with a lot of restraint, confinement, fear, um, I would also say if apologies don't come, it is because this person is in the Eight of Swords energy. In their mind, stress, seeing obstacles, and still bound to you, and the offer that went between the two of you. Now, coming their way, it is the Wheel of Fortune and the Justice, two beautiful energies, Libra energy, but absolutely they want to do the right thing. Two major arcana, even they don't want to. Uh, the universe will be push them will be pushing them to do the right thing that's the will of fortune divine intervention divine timing and it comes with justice so justice will be absolutely served and scales will be balanced and the um, energy the outcome of the energy uh, between the two of you so beautiful the empress and the lovers abundance and love right so does look like a reconciliation Virgo with this person does look like a lot of happiness speaking of six of swords and the sun we started by saying it's going to be peace of mind and it's going to be happiness rushing in so knight of swords and that's exactly what it looks like apologies a little bit you know maybe from a place of restraint and a little bit of fear but the universe is pushing them to do the right thing by you and the lovers and the empress are you kidding me such a beautiful energy and uh, empress is libra Taurus energy so it is your energy earth energy i want to say um and the lovers is gemini energy so that is no doubt they love you that is no doubt you have emotions for them and whatever happened between the two of you it was hurtful i mean look at the swords here right um Twice the Five of Swords, Ten of Swords, Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles. Rejection, right? Harsh words, rejection, and then feeling sorry for doing it. So, so let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need to do, yay or nay. So we do have the Divine Masculine. So if I'm picking up the energy of Virgo Divine Masculine, you keep going, you are doing just fine. 
this is an invitation, can be a confirmation, can be an invitation of acting from a place of divine masculine, which is forgiveness, wisdom, spiritual maturity, um, you know, collaboration, good communication, a place of high vibrations. We do have creativity and we do have the Empress. I believe so. that is a message for a Virgo who needs to be creative about their love life. Uh, we do have creativity as guidance and we have it in the outcome of the connection, the Empress, which is creativity. So, and the Major Arcana. So I kind of feel that you are asked, you know, to be open-minded about or creative about or come with different solutions. Resolving conflict. Well, there is no doubt there was a hell of a fight here on my table. <laughs> imagine, I, I can, I can um, imagine in real life, right? If um, just by reading the energies, we have twice the Five of Swords, the Ten of Swords, which is, again, two times Ten of Swords. So a lot of pain, a lot of fights. Um, and you have now resolving conflict. You are really guided, right, to resolve to find ways and solutions and I feel with justice and will of fortune the situation will uh, shift for uh, a positive one and we do have sacred woman so again confirmation or encouragement to act from a place of divinity a place of sacred spiritual maturity forgiveness kindness understanding because that is love right we do have love so we just got our um, kind of ultimate, um, you know, guidance that uh, that is love. We just need to find a way to be high vibration about. And of course, I really count on your judgment, uh, Virgo, because I'm seeing a lot of aggressiveness here. So I really count on your better judgment. And if violence happened, I mean, I do not encourage you to go back but this is your choice right and your judgment your you know better so but absolutely in the guidance we get is that that is love we just need to solve some a couple of fights so we go what energies we need to put back into the flow and we do have surrender to what is flow with what instead of fighting it when you can't change a situation compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace surrender stubbornness so what is in stubbornness so if you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something gently observe yourself and become more yielding this will help you communicate more lovingly with others and with yourself Surrender to joy. I love this because you do have the sun as the overall energy and I feel that is peace of mind and happiness. And now you are really guided to focus on happiness. I feel that if you are, uh, if we are, all of us, it's not, uh, it's not really a Virgo trait, but sometimes, you know, we focus on, uh, you know, some details and uh, we don't see the big picture and the big picture is joy for you, Virgo. So a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep on surrendering to more joy. So even in unhappy times, we have to look for joy because it's not that far away from us. We do have the sacred woman in doubt, right? I release the need to know all the answers. It's interesting. I hear like make love not war. And I was looking at it and it's resolving conflict and surrender to joy. So, right? Make love, not war. Um, bottom of the deck, surrender to complete healing. So again, right? Both of you, uh, you are in a, uh, on a healing journey. So open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. Such a beautiful reading, Virgo. Such a beautiful reading for my Virgo out there. So, hey, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I wanted to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.